In this video, I want to demonstrate to you how easy it is to start using the most common text functions in Power BI. We're gonna go through them individually so you understand exactly how to use each one of them. And if you stick around at the very end, I'll show you a very cool way to start using all these individual functions together in order to create something really, really cool in Power BI. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where I focus on teaching beginners the wonderful world that is Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So let's go through this very simple demo that I've prepared for you today. I just created some sample data here of some employee information. So we have uh, the name, the national insurance, and the date of birth. So we'll try to manipulate these texts to demonstrate to you how to use some of the most common text functions. So the first one that you can use is the concatenate function. It just combines multiple texts uh, together. So we'll, we can demonstrate that by creating a new column. So we'll name this one concatenate and you'll see it asks for two strings um, you can combine you can put in a column a field here um, but also you can add your own text so you can use the double quotes um, so if we add let's say employee there and close the concatenate function it you'll see that it combines what you have there the name Ian uh, and then the employee that we have at the very end there so it combines these two texts together but as you can see concatenate only works if you have two strings that you want to concatenate together so these days I just do uh, the ampersand method so what you all you need to do is put the uh, two texts or multiple texts that you want to string up together and use the ampersand sign in order to combine them and you can do multiple combinations if you want uh, as much as you want without that limitation of just having the two texts. So you can see we have um, three values here that we, we concatenated into this one column. The left function extracts text based on the number of characters that you specify. So um, let's say for our national insurance, we want to grab just the first three characters from the left. So let's do that. So let's create a new column here and we'll name this left. So you see left, it asks for two things. So it asks for the text, so which is in this case our national insurance, and the number of characters that we want to grab. So in this case, we want three. And you'll see that it gets us all those uh, first three characters from the national insurance field. Right does the opposite, so it gets the uh, text from the right based on the number of characters that you provide. So let's um, go back to the national insurance again and let's grab the last two characters. So we want to get either the UK, EU or US bits. So let's go back to the new column here. We'll name this one right. So again, national insurance and we want to get just the last two uh, characters of that. So here we have those. Mid extracts the data in between texts based on the position and the number of characters that you provided. So for example, from this national insurance field, you want to grab the um, innermost characters that we have here, which is the, the number, the numerical values. You will use mid to extract these. So let's create another column here and let's name it mid. Uh, it asks for three things this time. So we'll put the text as the national insurance. So from here, it asks the start position, which is where you want to extract the text from. And bear in mind that it includes spaces as a position. So one, two, three, four, five. So from the fifth position, and it asks for the number of characters that you want to extract, which is three. So let's close that and you get those uh, middle numbers within the national insurance. Replace replaces parts of your string uh, based on what you specify. So let's try to replace the last parts of our national insurance. So let's say we want the last parts to all be EU 
um, regardless of whatever they are. So we want to replace all of them to be EU no matter what. So let's do another new column. So let's do a replace here and let's type replay. So it asks for old text, which is, we'll do the national insurance here. Start position, which is nine, because we want to get just the last two um, characters. We want to replace the last two characters and then the new text that we want to replace it with. So we want to replace it with EU. We close that. You see it gives us the national insurance um, values, except that it replaces the very end with just the EU. Search. Searches for the text that you specify and returns the starting position of that text. So let's create a new column here. Let's do a search. Um, it asks for a couple of things, but not all of them are optional. You'll know that with this box brackets here. So those back brackets means that you don't need to they're optional basically. So let's say we want to find the text EU within our replace. Close that. You'll see that it gives you this position of where it found EU within the replace field. So it gives us nine, which is the starting point of where it found it. If we replace this now um, and we want to find EU within the national insurance instead of the search, you will see that it gives you an error because for some reason this, uh, this search function returns an error if uh, not all of the results uh, you can find the text string that you have. So what you need to do is you need to wrap it with an if error statement. So uh, an if error essentially gives you a way to handle errors like this. So if you put an if error here, and let's say if this returns an error, give me something else. So let's say, let's put a minus one there. So instead of giving errors on everything, it just gives you a negative one if it can't find that uh, search term within your field. So now I think you've learned the most commonly used uh, text functions within Power BI. Individually, they seem very simple, but where they really shine is when you start using them together. So let me show you how you can do that. So here we have a date of birth field um, that is in a different format than what I have um, on my localization settings. So it, you can see it gives us the date of birth, but it gives us in the format of month, day, and year, which is not recognized by my Power BI as a date because it's a region to EU, which uses uh, day, month, and year format. So um, what we want to do is we want to convert this into a date using the text, functions that we have learned today. So let's do that together. So first let's create a new column here. Let's name it DOB fixed and let's set up the scene here. So first what we want to do is we want to set up the concatenations that we want. So we want the day um, and I'm doing a shift enter to just adjust the lines here. So we want to add enter there. Um, there's an issue there but don't worry for now. We put the month there and then we want to add another slash and we want to do year here. If we hit enter you'll see that this is the format that we want um, and I've just created the concatenation here so that we can set up the base for what we want to do next. So the easiest one we can do is the year, which we've learned already that we can do the right to get the year at the very end, which is we want to get the last four characters, right? So that gives us the years. You can see there already. And then the month, which is at the moment at the very beginning. So we can take advantage of that by using the left function. We do DOB and we want to get the first two characters for our month and then the day. So the day we can use mid. Here we can do date of birth. Start position is one, two, three, position number four and we want two characters. 
So now that gives us the right uh, format of our uh, date of birth that we can use in our report. But let's go one step further and let's convert this actually into a date field. And we can use that, we can do that using the convert function. So what we can do, we can cut this, put this in our clipboard. We'll type the convert. So it asks for two things. It asks what you want to convert and what you want to convert it to. So let's do, um, let's put what we want to convert it to first. So you can see it's date time. And then within the expression of the convert, we want to create um, two parentheses here, uh, two closing brackets, I mean, uh, and then we'll enter what we have done earlier. So we've just pasted it there. Let's format this a little bit so you can see. So what it does is, okay, it adjusts the, uh, the formatting of our dates and then it converts this now into a date time field. So you'll see now instead of a, just the text, it converts it into a date field, really easy. And that's really it for this video. I hope it helped you understand how easy it is to start using you know, text functions and manipulations within Power BI. Leave a like in this video if it helped you. It's the best way to let me know that you enjoy this type of content. Get in touch using the social media links that are included in the description box below. And thank you so much for watching, guys. See you again on the next one.